Next up for this kitchen counter portable station thing that I have, uh, I, I want to be able. To, oh, well, I gotta clean it up. And, you know, I used to keep tools in here, so you know, I, I hosed it down, but it's got dusty again. But I'm going to line it with contact paper, so things will be nice and clean. I'm gonna keep, you know, silverware and and spatulas and things like that in there so it needs to be nice and clean but I wanted to do is be able to lift this up and and expose all my cooking uh, you know grill and things like that and what I got for that is this guy right here is basically the the smallest butane one that I could find and it would have been great if it fits just over there like that yeah which it does of course but not if you put it in the bottle. So the way this works, I'll show you. So it has this thing that sticks out, which is not great <laughs> for size. And the bottle goes in and it sticks out like that. So yes, the unit is small, but uh, once you put it in the can, it's not so small anymore. Um, so I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Um, one of the things I thought about doing is just drilling a hole in the back let it stick out um, but we'll see let's put in the contact paper first and of course I'll do the same to my garage my garage gear uh, cabinet I'm going to clean it up and, and put it contact paper in that Wow I never thought I would I could butcher this so badly but I did uh, the the good news is it's it's not the ugliest thing I ever did uh, the bad news is it's not going to be the ugliest thing I ever do. Um, well, I, I did the white contact paper, and it was just so bad. I thought I'd try clear, and actually the clear was a little bit better. It, it hid, you know, with the black coming through, it, it hid the imperfections a lot better. But uh, the, the main goal is just to line it, to keep it clean, you know, so... It, Everything will be closed and uh, no one's gonna see it. So now I gotta find a way to integrate uh, this stove. All right, I think I've come up with a compromise on how we could work th this. So I did buy the smallest one I could find. Maybe there's some camping ones that are even smaller, but you know, I, I, at the same time, I want it to be as big as, as it can be too. I wanna use the space. So if I turn it this way, what I can do is that you can just get it in. Just a little bending. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just steel. It'll bend a little bit. Closes no problem. So let's, there you go. There's my stove. It's not ideal. I'd like the knob here, but it'll work. I got this cutting board from Ikea. It's just a cheap cutting board. And it doesn't really fit that well. So it doesn't really fit that well. So what I could do is I could actually cut it. And I, you know, I'll probably cut off this portion right here because you know, I don't really need a handle for it. And if I cut off that portion, I should be able to get it in and out. Okay. All right. So I made a couple of cuts. I cut this side and a little bit on that side. And now it fits perfectly. Get it in and out. Bring it over here. Use it as my cutting board. That's going to work out great. So let me show you some of the drawers. I'm not going to stock everything right now, but you know, these are like the long spatulas and long items. You know, this pans, uh, I guess, you know, spoons would go there. And, and the, the extra fuel. So that's my kitchen cabinet.